It's almost surreal to think about, isn't it? A man on the brink of his fate, ordering one of the most luxurious dishes imaginable. Ricky Ray Rector, sentenced to death in Arkansas, made a mind-blowing request for his final meal. Steak, fried chicken, cherry Kool-Aid, and a pound of bacon. However, the most astonishing part, he asked for a full lobster tail, a delicacy that costs upwards of $1.40. It's like craving caviar during a crisis. But this lobster request was more than just a palate preference. For many, lobster is a symbol of opulence and celebration. Rector's choice, in a way, juxtaposed the grimness of his impending fate with life's finer pleasures. He left the world with a taste of unparalleled luxury, a stark contrast to the sterile confines of death row. How many of us would choose the exquisite taste of the sea as our last bite? Stunning in its sheer simplicity, James Edward Smith's final request was a stark departure from the elaborate dishes we often hear about. Instead of steak or lobster, Smith asked for a lump of dirt. Yes, you read that right, dirt. But here's the cultural catch. In various traditions, especially among certain African tribes, dirt, known as kaolin clay, is consumed for its unique taste and supposed health benefits. It's akin to someone in the West craving a slice of warm apple pie. Sadly, Smith's request was denied, and he settled for yogurt. It's a haunting reminder of how deeply our cultural roots run, even in the face of death. Would a taste of the earth have been a spiritual journey for Smith? Now, here's a twist you might not expect. Robert Alton Harris, set for execution in California, made a final meal request that was, well, downright wholesome. He chose a Domino's pizza. Just imagine it. The same cheesy, slightly salty taste that countless college students order during late-night study sessions. It's remarkable that amidst the gravity of his situation, Harris opted for something so relatable, so everyday. It's an unparalleled glimpse into the mundane desires we all harbor. Despite the grim circumstances, who could resist the universal allure of a pizza night? The power of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is unparalleled. For many, it's a journey back to school lunches, playgrounds, and the simple joys of youth. Edward Harold Bell on death row in Texas chose this iconic sandwich as part of his final meal, along with some trail mix. It's mind-blowing to consider the emotional weight carried by such a humble dish. Was Bell, in his final moments, yearning for the innocence of childhood, a time perhaps devoid of complexities? We can only wonder, but it's a potent reminder that our deepest connections often tie back to the simplest of memories. Arguably, the most haunting of all final meal requests came from Victor Feguer. Sentenced to death in Iowa, his request was chilling in its simplicity. A single olive with the pit still inside. This tiny, almost inconsequential request resonates with profound symbolism. In many cultures, the olive is a symbol of peace and reconciliation. It's mind-blowing to think of the weight this small fruit carried for Fagor. Was it a silent plea for peace or a final gesture of remorse? As Fagor met his fate, the olive pit was found in his suit pocket, a poignant testament to the power of symbols. You wouldn't expect a final meal to be a melting pot of global flavors, but for Angel Neves Diaz, it was a culinary journey. He requested a variety of dishes, including a quintessential Cuban favorite, fried plantains. Plantains, when fried, have this unparalleled crispy exterior with a soft, slightly sweet center, much like thick-cut caramelized French fries. Diaz's choice transcends mere taste. It hints at a connection to his roots, an embrace of his cultural heritage. In the face of mortality, it's awe-inspiring to witness a person reach out to the flavors of home, a testament to the indomitable spirit of human connection. Ever thought about dessert before dinner? For Lawrence Russell Brewer, it seems this was precisely the strategy. His astonishing final meal request is known for being one of the largest ever documented. Brewer asked for a staggering array of food, two chicken fried steaks, a triple patty bacon cheeseburger, a large bowl of fried okra, three fajitas, a pint of bluebell ice cream, and more. Here's the mind-blowing part. He didn't eat any of it. It's like getting a lavish buffet ready and not having a single bite. This overwhelming spread, left untouched, compelled Texas to stop the tradition of granting last meal requests. Was it a final act of defiance or a moment of overwhelming emotion? There's something universally heartwarming about a plate of spaghetti. 
the rich, tangy sauce, perfectly al dente pasta, and the aroma that promises comfort. For Peter J. Mignol, it wasn't just spaghetti, but an entire Italian feast he requested. His final meal consisted of 20 beef tacos, 20 beef enchiladas, two double cheeseburgers, a pizza with jalapenos, fried chicken, spaghetti, fruitcake, half a chocolate cake, half a vanilla cake, cookies and cream, caramel pecan fudge ice cream, and two Coca-Colas. The choice is reminiscent of an Italian family gathering, vibrant, hearty, and overflowing. Was it the warmth of an Italian trattoria he sought or the memories such meals invoke? Amidst the vast and sometimes outlandish requests, there's an unparalleled purity in Johnny Frank Garrett's choice. His last meal, a single slice of buttered toast. It's amazing how something so simple can evoke such profound feelings. The warm, crispy toast with its soft center, slathered with melting butter, takes many of us back to breakfasts made by loved ones. In its simplicity, Garrett's choice speaks volumes. Was it a throwback to a simpler, happier time or an assertion of the small comforts in life? Sometimes, it's the simplest pleasures that hold the deepest meaning. When imagining final meals, it's often the food that takes center stage. But for Steven Anderson, it was a drink that held unparalleled importance. He requested a simple, straightforward beverage, a pitcher of ice-cold milk. The creamy, cooling sensation of milk, which many of us take for granted, became a focal point of Anderson's last hours. It's a haunting reminder of the simplest comforts we often overlook. Was it nostalgia for a time when life's worries were washed down with a cold glass of milk, or perhaps a longing for the purity and innocence symbolized by the drink? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed these incredible facts, remember to like this video and subscribe to Psy Pulsar for more fascinating content. Until next time, stay curious and see you soon.